Hello viewers and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to continue the Darky Star Hearts Vine game TRP round that I'm doing. In the last episode we have started World War II as Germany defeated Poland and uh, this episode let's just start fighting the Frenchies and the low countries as well. Now I do not believe that they will be difficult to defeat however i've been surprised before and i'm curious if it will happen again of course so what i'm probably going to do is uh, maybe try to push through the arden forest but with infantry instead of tanks i know it sounds like a stupid idea but as I've said, just trust me, bro. So, of course, the main part as Germany here is to quickly try to overrun the enemy units and get an encirclement here um, in... What do you call this? In Dunkirk. Uh, after you have done that, you're in an extremely good uh, position here. And as you can see here, the French have really thoroughly reinforced Luxembourg. However, that's not going to help them at all, if we're going to be honest. Now we took Eupen here. Also, unfortunately, we can't continue into Leash, but that's completely okay. Now you can't support attack Luxembourg from Saarbrück and interesting. Well, it does not quite matter. Now, I know I left Cologne here unguarded, and I probably should do something about it before it's too late. Which, of course, I shall. Surprise, these units made to arm them faster than the infantry divisions, but it is... W rather than the mechanized divisions, but it is what it is. Alright. Everything is slowly coming together. Luxembourg is being a bit annoying. But we have positive casualties against the French here, so not all is too bad. Let's see here. They had the HQs help significantly, and the tanks are not having too, too much trouble here. Which, to put it lightly, is amazing. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting to launch a support Blitzkrieg attack of sorts against my enemies here. Which is making things a bit more annoying for me than they should. Feeling as buying new weapons happen to us, that's very cool, let's say. Okay, let's go out to Maastricht now. Actually, my tanks can go here, apparently. Can I take Amsterdam with these mechanized units? Hmm, um, highly unlikely since the area is, of course, reinforced. Alright. Hmm. So, we are having some trouble here against Luxembourg, but I think hmm, if, if the French just stop reinforcing this area, that will be completely fine. Now, I know uh, Van Nimbastech man wanted, uh, well, I thought that it's going to take a million uh, casualties to take Paris or France. However, we are not going to follow in such steps. Because that would be just kind of stupid, in my opinion. Okay, we're breaking through into our lone forest without much opposition here. We should leave one infantry army behind here, uh, just to guard the place, you know. Plus, we can send it to support attack them in our lone forest, which, of course, I will do. Yeah, I know the front lines are looking a little bit odd, but I am, of course, attempting my best here. Okay, let's go to Eindhoven right now. I have encircled the Dutch here, which is at minimum a good sign. And let's maybe just go after Dunkirk like that without tanks. It's not like the enemies are going to do a lot against me at this point. Okay, we can't win in Middleburg. I've come to terms of sorts with that. So let's defeat them in, in Eindhoven. Oh, looks like Belgium just capitulated to me on the spot. That makes my job significantly easier, which is great. 
Okay, they're trying to push me back in Arlon, but that is just not going to work. Since I probably have superior troops and ground defense efficiency. Yeah, the Dunkirk and Circlement is probably not ultra necessary since Belgium can give up very, very quickly. Okay, well, Metz of course has a level 10 fort, which I'm not going to mess with. I will, well, yes, I am not really suffering as many casualties in Arlon as the Frenchies are, so that's a very great sign. Okay. We are winning in Amsterdam, well we won in Amsterdam as the infantry army here, which is great. And it looks like, yeah, I encircled the enemy units here, which is Wunderbar, if I do say so myself. Can't quite research any new technologies yet, and that's completely okay. I should probably... Ugh. Yeah, Rommel is here. Volkswagen deliveries to the masses. And I'm just probably going to motorize the workers instead. As I've said, motorized units in this mod kind of suck. Okay, so I will probably need to split this army in two and uh, to guard Lille so that the French don't get any interesting ideas. Okay, yeah. Uh, I believe Rotterdam has been completely taken by us, which is nice. Okay, let's go into Middleburg now. Rouget is not going to be ultra hard to take, and they really want to take Arlon, but that is not going to work out for them, let me tell you what. Mm -hmm. If you Belgian dudes are trying to attack Lille, not gonna work. Oh, I'm suffering quite a few casualties. Oh, damn. I'm suffering quite a few casualties here, but I don't think it's really going to hurt me in the long run. Now the Frenchies are inflicting more and more casualties against me here, which is not something that I'd love to see, but it is what it is. Okay. We want on Bruges here. Time to... Uh, yep, they completely just stopped attacking me here in Arlon Forest. It looks like Amiens is going to get liberated by the French. Or oh, quote-unquote liberated, of course. Okay, yeah, Middleburg is close to being saved by me here, which we can also probably try to redeploy these units. Yeah, British are trying to bomb our cities, but that's not going to help them. A complete victory here in Dunkirk. Yeah, it seems that the Blitzkrieg tactics here are a bit more difficult to utilize since the delay between troops being able to do things is far greater than in vanilla it seems which I just cannot get used to I suppose well we did not encircle them in Dunkirk but in Calais it's not particularly a colossal difference since they got encircled anyway by me here and we should probably help them out in Middleburg a little bit since uh, they, these Dudes are at minimum suffering a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really doing well here, admittedly. So I sent a little bit of assistance here, and my units should be able to easily defeat them now. I likely encircled less units than I'd love to, but it is what it is. As long as I get, as I get more Italy balance neutrality, good for them. Yes. If I encircle more units, it will just make things significantly easier for me. Okay, Middlebrook is being just a pain to take here, which is probably correct to do. Let's try to get into Laon. Oh yeah, they're getting slaughtered here completely by my uh, tank divisions, it seems. That is a nice sight. Okay, let's also support attack via Lille. And, yeah, so let's try to take Hersen now. Should not be impossible to take, I'd say. 
Yeah, but middle work is being extra difficult as you can see here. Can't really do much here. Call reservists. Oh, I, oh, I'm just getting a lot of free manpower here. Actually, now I think about it, I should have probably been utilizing my cast during this time. So let's rebase them into Antwerp. And let's maybe perform some ground attacks since I don't see ground support. Oh, infinite mission time province. It seems to be helping a little bit, so that's amazing. Make sure Panzer Division has been made. Where can I put it? Maybe into Leon. It can just drive there from months. Extra tank division is always a great sight. To see. Yeah, I'm doing okay casualties here in Middleburg. Well, not okay casualties. Pretty great casualties, honestly. Oh yeah, 600 per day. Is, it's quite amazing. Now, I'm pretty sure that winning in Sedan is going to be extremely difficult because it's a forest province and GDE in TRP is a little bit more balanced, but let's see. Oh, no, actually, I seem to be winning there easily. Well, I guess I was wrong and it happens, of course. Yeah, just crushed them in Sedan. I guess we are uh, numbers as well. <sighs> I guess it doesn't matter too much how I did it as long as I do do it. Alright, who can I... Oh, HQs, amazing. So I'm going to put one into Amiens. And one into Sedan, maybe. And one into Harrison. There we go. There we go. A lot of troops are moving here. Oh! Looks like the naval enemy here in Dunkirk. That's just wonderful for me, since they're going to perish. Okay, let's just encircle them in Calais, I guess. Oh damn! They even they went into Bruges. Uh, the infantry divisions, I hope, will be made faster so that uh, I won't have to deal with these naval landings. But I also do not mind the naval landings primarily because I can eliminate more and more of their units uh, as they just stuff them to, into the Benelux. So it's not always bad if they navally invade you as long as you can of course uh, deal with it successfully. If you deal with it successfully you just destroy uh, your enemy's units and make their life more miserable. And let's see how good we do in Reims. That was a very fast victory. Yeah, Chateau 3 will not be too difficult to take here as well. A lot of casualties. Yep, they are as good as you'd expect them to be. Well, in my favor, that is. Oh, damn, they may be bombing me in Berlin, but it's rebuilding extremely quickly, thankfully. Okay. Nay, such divisions have been made, so let's start guiding the coast with them. As much as I like being naval invaded and destroying their troops completely, uh, I don't like that to happen 24-7, so... I would rather do something about it, you know. Alright, let's go into Chateau 3 now. And at this point I think I can reinforce Saarbrücken. Also, I might as well just annex Luxembourg. Because why not really? They are part of the Reich now. They ha have any new events? Not, not like not that it seems. Okay, nice. Okay, she too. Well, Paris is basically open for me, but oh well. I sh should have taken it while I could. But whatever. Let's just you know LARP a little bit. Yongi has a level four fort, so I'm. I'm not going to mess with that too much. Alright, alright. Attack Paris. We're going to, of course, support attack here. And I keep forgetting to uh, use Blitzkrieg tactics here, which is a bit frustrating. But that's completely on me, as I've said. Okay, let's try to go after Verdun and encircle them in Alsace-Lorraine, like 
we did historically, like the Germans kind of did historically actually. Yeah, we're completely dominating them in very well, I don't say it's complete dominance, but we did win without too much trouble. Okay, you can get to here. There we go. I think we should be able to win now. Maybe Longu is a bit questionable for a victory. Shimon should not be too difficult, I'd say. And so we should probably organize the uh, this Panzer army that is in Paris. It's 14 units in total, so let's put 6 here. And 2 here. There we go. Hmm. I even made another one, so let me have fun with that. Seems that, okay, maybe we can try some Blitzkrieg tactics here once again. Can attack in Uru and go to Ken. I am probably butchering those names absolutely so, excuse me. And it seems that, yeah, okay, interesting. Ah, and not winning here it seems, and Chaumont is questionable when it comes to winning, which is a bit unfortunate. Ugh. Oh well, it happens. Yeah, it seems that river offensives in this mod are very difficult to pull off, it seems. Okay, I can see what my home slice was talking about. Uh, when he spoke about rivers being a very annoying obstacle in TRP to overcome. Okay, you can get to where done, I suppose. And I hope I didn't crash. Maybe. Oh! They give up! Okay, that's that's very good. I thought the game crashed or something. Alright, let's finish the British off in Mets. And it seems that France decide to go down the historical route of giving me territory. I'm very, very curious if I can get away with influencing them so that they would join the Axis down the line. I mean, that would be POG at minimum. Forced Swiss trade agreement. Yeah, I'm going to do that event since I think it gives me free supplies. But Italy has to be allied with me, so Italy get the alien here. There we go. I'm gonna do it manually. Okay, four Swiss trade agreements. So, I get free supplies. It's not much. So, it's a serial location to the east. Yeah, France was actually a bit challenging here, I'll be honest. They're significantly harder than normal to defeat in TRP. Which I did find to be quite interesting. So, I wonder. Do I get any new ministers? Not that it seems. I'm also going more towards drafted army for better manpower growth. We can release RK, Netherland and stuff, but I'm not going to. I'm curious if getting Vichy France here is a good idea. I'm probably going to try it anyway. Now can I start influencing the other nations so they would join the Axis? I mean, I have a crap ton of money, so I don't see how this can just fail. <laughs> okay, Yugoslavia breaks the tripartite pact. Okay, I need 9 divisions in grass. So, I guess let's get them into grass. They're probably clagging for 2. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, logistics of 1939 have been researched by me. Now what can we get? Okay, what can we get now? A bit early for that. Anything from here? 1942 infantry is a bit too futuristic for me. There's a few SPR is a bit too futuristic as well. Ugh. Carry a submarine maneuvers, capital maneuvers, air adoptions, ground attack 1940. Yeah, I'm probably going to research this since I liked how uh, effective the CAS was when it came to bombing the enemy units. I'm also going to strat, well, not strat to deploy, but fly them to proc so they don't get popped on accident. 
That has happened before to me in Darkest Tower games and it was quite depressing. So I think maybe rushing you go breaking the tripartite treaty will be a good thing. And I'm curious how well Italy is gonna do in Africa. Well, they have motorized units, that's interesting. And I also have quite a bit of IC, whole 600 of it. Okay, I'm not building uh, RT anymore, but I would like to fully brigade my units, plus where's the SPRT? There we go. Some tanks in my army were missing it, so I figured why not construct it. Let my dude in a shot to deploying to grass. I'm also going to keep the Swandle the Maginot line. Yeah, secret line, why not? And <laughs> even energy and resource changes. How nice. Okay. Well, are the Yugoslavia breaks the tripart? Tripart I treat you. So let's force them to get it quickly here and probably out of the way as well. We'll get a balance neutrality. Oh, finally, they are willing to enter alliances. I'm going to influence them a bit more before I accept them into an alliance to increase the chance to just not waste time, unless it's 100% like with Hungary. Uh, yeah, let's just invade Yugoslavia, what's the worst that can happen? Well, with Yugoslavia, amazing event. Yeah, I think I have a good enough army against them, so just... Wait, how many VPs do they have? Oh, it's only Belgrade and Zagreb. Oh, let me get into those two provinces. And I think that after I just take those two provinces, Yugoslavia is going to fall. Or rather, I, I will be able to annex them. Also, I think I got a core... Oh, Maribor is a core province. Oh, well, that's nice to see, at minimum. So production is going okay here, subs are gonna be built soon, HQs are being built as well, so is the mechanized the units, so are the mechanized units rather. I, I, I don't see Yugoslavia really breaking out of this at all. Resource change, way more energy production in Leipzig, oh good, that's good. What the hell, how did the damn partisans make it to Katowice? I have a damn par par Panzer Division chasing them down and they're still so persistent and annoying. Ay ay ay. Oh, they made it to Ruma here. Fascinating. Independence Day of Croatia. That's a bit too early. That's a little bit too early. Tirana. Oh crap. T it's Tirana victory? Well, it's still a victory point, but I think I'll be okay as long as Italy does not lose it, of course. Okay, yeah, Yugoslavia is. Is in trouble here. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the armor divisions can't just instantly make it to Belgrade, it seems. Oh well. Agriculture. Maybe getting agrochemistry is a good idea due to the extra IC and stuff. Yeah, apparently I need assistance here to take Belgrade. Since the Panzer Divisions are having some trouble doing it themselves. The Kamhuber line? Oh, this is just free AA. What do I need? I need more supplies. Take Denmark and Abenra. Well, I'm going to build the AA myself, so I don't think, really think it matters too, too much. Okay, Belgrade's gonna be taken by me in a second here. Okay, there we go. Annex? Question mark, annex, exclamation mark. Okay, we, we took Yugoslavia. That was... Expected. Can we make the independent state of Croatia? Karlovac and Bihać. Oh, I can't because Italy took those provinces. Ay ay ay. That's annoying. Okay, let's get a Romania into our alliance at least. Well, we beat up Yugoslavia. And the Greco Italian war hasn't started yet. Italian claims. Okay. Refuse. I'm just going to give them what they want, I guess. Why not? Less land for me to hold, to see wise. Probably going to try to release... Oh, what's the difference between this event... Wait. Can you just claim Bihat and Karlovat and they'll give it to me? Haha, <laughs> of course. How naive of me. 
I need those provinces. Oh, okay, I got them anyway. So I'm going to release Croatia. Energy production, Amsterdam, plus one. Amazing. Even stay of Croatia, there we go. There we go. The Serbian, Serbian government of national salvation. Amazing. Oh. These lands would have been good to give to Yugos, uh, to Bulgaria, rather. However, I have not done so yet. It looks like the UK has not tried to navally invade me at all, which is very good for me, I'll be honest. I don't really think that taking Switzerland is a good idea, as they have a crap ton of divisions and just high-end fortifications. So I'm going to leave them alone. The Soviets are the Soviets, and I'm not going to mess with them quite yet. I still need to build up a bit more during this year. Yeah, losing, using a lot of IC to build up against the USSR. Though I think I'm going to end the episode here. We have done quite a fair bit. We have destroyed the Frenchies. We have beaten Yugoslavia before, uh, you know, it happened historically. And the Axis alliance expands. However, before finishing, I'm going to influence Vichy France before I forget. And maybe nationalist Spain. There's a chance probably I can get them into an alliance and TRP, so I'm going to use it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for the view, and I'll see everyone in whatever else I plan on doing. Goodbye.